Oh hi there proud crowd, it's Nick Hennessy here, pronouns she and her of course. And you might remember me from such shows as LGBTQ+, Let's Get Behind the Questions, the podcast. And of course, I'm also one of the co-chairs of Proud. Before we get into our cooking session today, I'd like to acknowledge the traditional custodians of the lands on which we are recording and wherever you may be watching, and pay my respects to Elders past, present and emerging. I'd also like to pay tribute to our First Nations LGBTQ plus communities and any First Nations team members who may be watching us today. So, I'm sure you're asking why we're here today. Well, it's time to get excited because it is the showdown of the century, or at least of 2020. If there was a sport in which people decorated cakes, this today would be the grand final. And what's the reason that we're doing this today? Well, it is to celebrate the official partnership of Woolworths and the Bobby Goldsmith Foundation. That's right, it is the first ever inaugural Actually, I think they mean the same thing. But anyway, it's the Woolies versus Bobby Goldsmith cake off. Facing off today, representing the proud crowd, we have the other Nick, Nick with a K. He's a familiar face as the co-chair of Proud and a familiar voice as the co-host on the podcast with me. He uses his oven for storage, so we're really glad that there's no cooking required today. And in the other corner, representing the Bobby Goldsmith Foundation, we have Simon Dunn. And I really think we should have done a little bit more work in padding out Nick's bio because Simon is a former professional bobsledder for Australia, rugby player, personal trainer, fitness columnist, and Bobby Goldsmith Foundation ambassador. Multi-talented, one would say. Now, the rules of today are pretty simple. Our two contestants are going to have 10 minutes on the clock to come up with the best decorated Woolies mud cake. And the judge that they have to impress is me. Oh, and just to make things interesting, of course, I'm going to be coming over to talk to each of them while they're decorating their cakes. And we all know that this one, Nick, cannot multitask. So, contestants, are you ready? Three, two, one, go! Okay, so I'm just going to position myself here. Yeah, make so yourself Simon, comfortable. Yeah, thank you. Um, just between you and I, what's, what's your strategy for the, just so he doesn't hear, what's your strategy? What are you doing with the cake? I'm not a religious man, but I tend to pray. Okay. Um, because generally. On a wish and a prayer. On a wish and a prayer. Yeah. Um, but I have a big plan. It's going to be a little. I'm going to go for the ribbon itself. Ah. Weirdly enough, I am actually more nervous about doing this than I was when I bobsledded. Okay. So <laughs> I don't want to stop. So how are the knife skills then? Are um, you okay. It's my first time not using a plastic knife. Okay. Um, as an adult, I'm not allowed yeah. to touch anything sharp, okay. um, so we'll find out. Look, if anything goes wrong, I'm first aid certified, so we're going to be fine. I can apply the first aid. So my first question to you. Yes. A little bit of a fact about you. Yep. Uh, so you were the first openly gay man to represent any country for bobsledding. Yes. So can you tell us a little bit about that and why it was also important for you to be an openly gay man in sport? Um, so for me, uh, when I started bobsledding, I was already out. Yeah. Um, so I kind of joke that I came out as an athlete after I came out as my, as my sexuality. But at the time, um, I had quit sport because... Mm -hmm of my sexuality and sometimes sport as a, as a gay man can be a difficult area to navigate navigate through. So as a teenager it was very difficult, oh, I've stuffed this up already, <laughs> as a teenager it. it was very difficult for me to um, be an athlete. So before I even tried out for the team I messaged the team and I said to them, just so you know, I'm a gay man. Um, they were fine with it and then also realising that as gay men we don't have many role models in in that area, so yeah. that became probably more important to me than I knew it would because I wanted to be the person I never had growing up. Um, and I feel as more athletes start to come out and people are more open about their sexuality, that we'll actually have a lot more up and coming professional athletes, more LGBTQI Olympians, and I think it's a it's a space where we have a long way to grow, and it's, it's, I really look forward to watching that myself. So visibility was really a, a oh, big definitely. motivator and really important. Yeah, definitely. As, as I said, I just wanted to be the person that I never had. Yeah. And I really sometimes hope I will have been that person. Um, if anyone that looks up to me wants to learn how to decorate cakes, I'm <laughs> not that person. Um, if you want to do bobsleigh or rugby, I hope I can be. <laughs> Thanks, Simon. So, um, Dals, you're making good progress here. Tell us, tell us, if you just tell me. What's your strategy? I'm practicing um, to make your wedding cake. So oh. I'm using this as practice. Okay. We're 
not going with when this is not. Uh, I love you, but I don't think so. But anyway, we'll um, just change topics here. So, Nick, um, World AIDS Day yes. is celebrated on the 1st of December every year and commemorated on the 1st of December every year. So why is this day important to you and why should people recognise the day? Um, for two reasons, I think. Yep. I think the first reason is um, to remember those who came before us. Mm -hmm. um, so um, during the, the 80s and 90s, obviously a lot of people lost their lives um, to AIDS and they came before us. So it's about remembering those, those guys. Um, but also I think the second part of it is, you know, um, HIV awareness and sort of um, breaking down the stigma that still comes along with HIV and I think our community, the LGBTQ plus community has yeah. a, a lot to, to play in that space too. Yeah, and I noticed that you couldn't do anything while you were just telling me that. No, I, I can't. The multitasking, the, the multitasking. Oh, we're making progress over here. Um, a mess. I, I call it progress. Yes. You're, doing, you're doing great. Thank you. Um, so Simon, you recently became, in 2020, an ambassador for the Bobby Goldsmith Foundation. Indeed. So can you tell us a little bit about um, what do BGF do and why you wanted to get involved with them? Um, so for me, as I try and work out which angle I need to cut this part of the But cake, you've got a reference point. Oh yes. But it's upside down. Um, so for me, um, I, as, I, as I mentioned earlier, the community has given me a lot, this LGBTQI community. And since I retired from sport, I want to proactively give back. Um, and it's always easy to put yourself on a um, it's easy to do this kind of stuff. It's easy to be able to be the face of a campaign, but better watch your cake. Um, but um, being able to go out with BGF and um, do, go, participate in their client visits, um, yeah. meet people who they work with, because um, BGF, a lot of what they do is with people who currently live with HIV, um, and they help them with things like. Um, financial services, even down to things like taking them to the shops, um, doctor's appointments, um, going to the pharmacy for them. So it's, it's more of a hands-on aspect and that's why I really do enjoy working with them. Great, thank you. Um, oh, that doesn't look maybe like it's going according to plan, but we're going to roll with it. You're just wedging in some lollies there now, Doc? It didn't stay up. Okay. Um, <laughs> so. You mentioned before, Nick, um, that an important part of recognising, celebrating and commemorating World's, World AIDS Day is to make sure that we're having conversations, yep. um, specifically about HIV. So can you tell me a little bit more? Yes, I, I think... Um, oh, I can't do two things at once. <laughs> we're really putting you to the test here. Um, I think, um, you know, times have changed and, and although, you know, treatment has gotten a lot better and... Um, you know, there's more prevention strategies. Um, it still exists, and one of, as I said, one of the biggest things around it is stigma. Yeah. Um, so for me, it's important about talking um, about prevention strategies, but also how do we, as an LGBTQ plus community, break down the stigma, okay. um, and that's through talking through things like undetectable and all those sorts of things as well. So yeah. So that's why I think yeah we have uh, a big role to play, especially on World Aids Day, just to have that conversation and and just reflect on. on you know, what we can all do. Yeah, great, thank you. I mean, just quietly, of course, between you and I, um, I think you may be getting a one-up here a little bit, but... Um, Good to know, because um, yeah. I don't... My partner Your actually, definitely looks more stable. My, my partner requested that I bring the cake home to him, oh, so I might actually lovely. need to get a different one off you. Okay, we'll see what we can arrange this afterwards. This is a bit all we'll, over the place. We'll see if we can get a really professional one for you to thank take you. home and impress. You can take mine home. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> don't do that one. Um, so, Simon, this year is the first year that Woolies has teamed up with the Bobby Goldsmith Foundation specifically. Yep. Um, so can you tell everybody what are we doing um, in our partnership together and how can people get involved and support? Uh, so with World AIDS Day, uh, what we do at Bobby Goldsmith is we, uh, we there'll be something in ribbons at Woolworths Metro within Sydney. Yeah. Um, that, that will begin from November the 18th, I believe. I'll look to my left to check with the BGF representative. That's a nod. So yes, from November 18th, uh, Woolworth and B Woolworth and BGF will be selling a um, HIV World Ace Day uh, ribbon. Yes. Um, in which the money for that will directly go to support supporting people living with HIV. Amazing. And we're going to be selling them in our Woolworth Metro locations. Um, so you can grab one there. I believe they are three dollars. And five for a fancy one. Oh, a fancy one. What's the fancy one? Is that the one-up version from this one? Yes, it is. But we what didn't. Get, like? We didn't get one of those. If we can just grab one. <laughs> There's one here somewhere, I'm sure we can get one off camera. Here's one I prepared earlier. 
What's the fancy one? Oh, sorry to get pink glassy on you. Uh, so the fancy one is more of a, it looks like... Show to camera? A bit more stable. Unlike, yes. unlike your cake. It's like a resin badge, so it's kind of like yeah. a, a permanent one. Fabulous. So $5 and $3 for the ribbon one. Yeah, that's gonna be okay. Okay, so how are we going here? Because I think um, we're 10 I'll... minutes might be coming towards time. I yeah. need another three. You uh, need another three. Uh, I don't know if we allow extensions. So how, um, are, how are you going? Do you need another three? No. No. <laughs> no, okay. some, he doesn't need three. So should I go half then? Should sounds, I do a minute and a half? It sounds like your problem, not mine. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well what about if I round it out with a question for you, Nick, so that uh, Simon can uh, finish up his beautiful artwork he's doing here. Not much decorating going on. No, put it on. Yeah, there's a lot of lollies over there to be utilised that aren't being used to their full advantage. But did you know there's glitter icing as well, Simon? I haven't got that. Yeah, That's why I need three minutes, icing. not one and a half. Okay, Nick, uh, so for those that are watching our video, um, they may know that you and I co-host a little podcast together uh, called LGBTQ+, the podcast. It's a little old podcast with little old you and little old I. Um, so can you tell us what we're doing on the podcast in order to um, bring education and awareness to World AIDS Day? Yes, we will be speaking, and it's not a little old podcast. It's a it little is, old podcast. It is a major production podcast. That's right, we're viral, aren't we? Yeah. yeah. We'll be having uh, Ruan from the Bobby Goldsmith Foundation yes. on the podcast Yes. Um, to talk about what it's like uh, to be living with HIV. Um, yes. Um, so that'll be a really exciting episode, yeah. and I think one not to be missed. I say that every week, but yes, this one especially, do. not to be missed. Um, so that will be landing on the Wednesday before World AIDS Day. Yes, amazing. So that, I'm very much looking forward to that. We're actually going to be recording that um, in a couple of days. So, and we've met with Ruan, awesome person. So, very much looking forward to that. This is not very good in the squeeze, I think. Look. Yeah, I just had to attend with that. And... Don't direct your feedback on, on to me. We'll, we'll tell Food Co. We'll tell um, someone in the buying team that we need. You know, you're not happy with the icing product. I think it's. I think it's not the product. I think it's the user. This is an FYI. You're making great progress here, Simon. Yeah, I thought I'd branch out into uh, hundreds of thousands or Skittles, depends which part of the Australia or the world you're from. Oh, where do they call them Skittles? Um, do they call them that? No, that's a different thing, isn't it? I don't know. No, that's you're, a fruity you're, lolly. You're Is telling that, the story. <laughs> no, they don't, what do they call them overseas? They, they call them something else. Oh, sprinkles. Like in, in, sprinkles, um, that's what I'm thinking of. Oh, we call them sprinkles here It's too. the pressure of how good your cake looks. It's getting to <laughs> with a knife holding it up. <laughs> but at least the decoration's coming to life. Why don't you put some marshmallows or something on there, Doc? Where do I get sprinkles? Uh, in, in your sprinkle packet. That's golden. There's some pink ones in there for you. Okay, well I think we're getting down to time. Mm, I think we've definitely gone longer than 10 minutes. Today. I think it's definitely I feel like been the people than watching might minutes. actually clock that because. Oh wow! Okay, we're the getting very. Low. We're gonna need a clean up. You're on clean up after this with all the freckles you just put everywhere, all the sprinkles you put everywhere, Dal. We're gonna need a vacuum cleaner. It's going to need it back and you need to wash your hands. Okay. Well, I think that I'm going to give us a countdown here. So uh, I'm going to give you a 10 second countdown to get it together. If you've got any last decorations you want to add, so it's 10. We're getting the cake together or our lives? Well, both. Okay. Perfectly. Just, just got to check. Cause... 10, 9, oh, 8, I'll do a little 7, spin for camera. 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. <laughs> we love safety. Okay, so that's it. So we obviously are in the judging portion now. So I am the judge to be impressed by. And so what I'm going to ask of you both is to tell me the story of your cake, your inspiration behind it, how you came up with the design. And, you know, we believe in guests going first, Simon. So I'm going to hand to um, you first. Please tell me about the masterpiece you have created on So the I originally today. had a different plan, but when I got here and learnt I could use a knife, I decided to get ambitious. And for me, it was a cake that I had previously researched on Google. So um, research went into it, homework's gone into it today? Yeah, about... About a minute. Okay, good. Cool. A little image search on Google, got me there. Preparation. So I like how you've utilised the red frogs to represent the world AIDS ribbon and the colour aesthetics. It's on point. Good creative skills. Jal. Yeah. <clears throat> Please tell me about your inspiration in the journey of your cake and what this uh, represents. Well, I've always wanted to build a cake that had two layers. Okay. Um, and I like the cakes with the columns, but I did, they didn't quite Like a hold. wedding cake, yeah, but not mine. Yeah, they didn't quite hold, so no. these must sticks, I'll have to write a letter to someone. Must sticks that probably um, don't sustain weight no. very well. 
So then it just sort of collapsed on itself. Yeah. Um, and then I've just done the ribbon on top. Yes. Um, the multicolour sparkles. Yeah, for um, the rainbow flag. Yeah. Yep. Um, and then, not much else to say. Really. And what's what's the lolly sandwiched in the middle? What have we got going well, on? They were, the, they were the columns. And I saw some red frogs, I think, sneaking out. I just wanted to use up those. Oh, okay, right. Yeah. Well, look, let me just, I'm very proud that you remembered to take you the uh, packaging off. Oh, another day. <laughs> <laughs> Like that's a setup. We might we might have some after with coffee and cake this afternoon, perhaps, so to round out to round out having you with us, Simon. We That'd might be great. Enjoy the coffee and the cake. So I don't think it's keto anyway. No, it's definitely not. But we can go off script today. It's fine. Go off diet. Uh, so I think if we're looking, I just can't go past your artistic flair here, Simon. Thank and you I very think much. that the effort, the thought, the homework, the research that went into this merits you as the winner of our cake off today. Thank you very much. Do I get a prize? Yes, you get to take this home with you. Even the, the medal? No, we have oh, to take okay. it. <laughs> I, I, I'm okay what with we, the cake. It's what fine. we can do that, we can put it back in the box that came in and you can take it home. It does look good. Food. Yeah. Luck. But please help yourself to any of the, the lolly assortments of lollies to take as well. We can pack you up a little um, oh, a little loop bag, a little goodie cool. bag. Goodie bag, that'd be great. Food. Yeah, great. Thank you. Okay, well, I think that today has been a very successful first ever Woolies Mud Cake Cake Off. And I want to say thank you so much, thank Simon, for, for coming pleasure. on our set today, for indulging us with your cake uh, skills, and uh, you weren't much competition, Dal, but that's okay. Um, we really appreciate you coming down today, and most of all, we're really excited about our new partnership at Woolies with the Bobby Goldsmith Foundation. And please make sure that you go out into our Woolies Metro stores have a look for the Bobby Goldsmith Foundation um, ribbons and you can purchase one for three or for five dollars. Signing off for you. Thank you. Signing off for you. <laughs> Thank you very much. See you later proud crowd. Stay safe, shine bright and be proud. <laughs>